the balanced equation for the reaction is as written right here. And in order to find the delta H of formation of this reactant, you use the delta H of the reaction is equal to the delta H of formation of the products minus the delta H of formation of the reactants. I left out the H here. So uh, you have to look up either in a textbook or on the internet the heats of formation of the reactants and the products since they weren't given to you in the problem. And I did that and found the following for uh, H2 gas because it's a, in its standard form is zero. Um, Fe3O4 as a solid and be sure you look up with the proper phase is that value kilojoules per mole. For water as a gas, it's that value. And again, liquid would be different, so be sure you use the appropriate phase. And this is the unknown. This is what we're looking for, the delta H of formation of Fe2O3. So using this equation and substituting in the known values, um, we get 100.8, 100 which is given for the delta H of the reaction. And notice that you have to multiply by the coefficients. So for Fe3O4, there's two moles, and the value for one mole is uh, minus 1118.4, so times 2. Uh, and then you add to that the delta H of formation of the one mole of water, and that's the products, and then you subtract the delta H of formation of the reactants. In this case, you've got three. So it would be three times X and plus zero for hydrogen gas. And when you do the math, if I did it correctly, you end up with a negative 792.6 kilojoules per mole as the standard enthalpy of formation of Fe2O3.